uh, what I'm going to talk about is something that happens quite daily here. Uh, so we're doing a service on M8 and we noticed a couple things in the service, things didn't check out right. Uh, things like quite a bit of oil deposit into the inlet manifold or the butterfly there and a little bit of smoke and we monitor the bikes, we monitor everyone's bikes here and keep an eye on how the engines are running. So we've done some checks on the oil pump which I'll go to in a minute but let's get this cylinder head off. What we've got here is um, we're checking for oil. So we've got a lot of oil in the combustion chamber here. Uh, at this stage, I'm presuming, predicting it's not the valves. The reason I know that is because I'd see a little bit more oil deposit here and not, and not as much here. But what we've got is a general cover of oil, like too much carbon for a 10,000 K bike. Uh, it hasn't been doing it long, uh, looking at the exhaust port there, it hasn't been doing it a long time. There's a tiny bit of oil come through the air filter there, but either way, I'm going to pull this head apart at APL, and today we can have this bike running again. I will cut seat the valves, uh, and I'll, I'll face off the valves, we'll change the valve guide seals, we'll check the guides haven't leaked as well. Sometimes they can leak past the guides. Uh, looking at this engine now, we'll spin it down, turn it over. We've got a lot of oil in the in the cylinder here. Uh, the hone's still there, but it's a bit too shiny for my likings. I'll rip this off. Bore's glazed up. We'll definitely need some attention. We'll definitely need some new rings. The rings are only worn out because there was just too much oil going on there. The plugs we checked in the service, there's a lot of oil on there as well. You can tell the difference between oil and fuel. Just when you've been doing it a long time, you can work out the difference. But 10,000 Ks, we've got a lot of oil just around on the edges here. So to me it's rings. Uh, I will still do these cylinder heads. We have some high performance pistons and rebore options for these. There's been a little bit of advanced timing too much here and maybe even some pre-ignition can happen from too much oil as well. Uh, but this this has probably had a standard map in it, this bike. We haven't tuned it, but when you see one of our bikes tuned, you won't see uh, that wear on the skirt. And the wear on the skirt's from pre-ignition and the piston rocking around a bit. It's got it on both there. It's quite bad on the front cylinder. The front cylinder on a V-twin Harley does 70% more of the work than the rear. So it, it that's with all V twins so they the most of the load is on the front cylinder and you have to understand the front and the rear and what's going on when you're tuning it so that's why you have to know these engines before you go in the dyno room and start tuning them but we'll have this fixed up we're going to quote up the customer and we'll give him some options he might want one of our new cams uh, but all we really need to do is get rings in hone do some checks some measurements before service the heads this bike could be running today. Thanks very much, hope you enjoyed the live.